Konbanwa, everyone. Let's uh, continue. I did some volume adjustment, so hopefully that'll work out for us. Okay, so this game does still have WASD. Alright, so just um, trying to get my bearings again. Be careful out there, okay? Go get him. You can do it. I don't like your chances here. All right. There's a chest. Found 300 yen, or I believe that symbol is just money. Okay, and very much like Katakana, um, you can actually see the enemies on screen. That one's a small version, that one's a big version. I don't know what the difference is. All right. I believe that is Tree, which is Kiko or Boku Boku. Cool. All right, one shot. And we got a wood orb, which I believe is for crafting or something. Okay, so yeah, there was a mission where we have to defeat a number of these enemies. Ramune, which is just a helic item. Uh, I believe this is water, which is Mizu or Sui. Sui. Alright. Jeez, how far does this go? Okay. Short sword. Plastic sword, upgrade to short sword, which has increases power and soul, which I don't know what soul is for. Sharp blade favored by soldiers is a secondary weapon. And you are using a mop, even though it looks more like a giant paintbrush. Don't mind me, just gonna run past you lot. Okay, that's everything. Alright, so golden money. Kana. And then that symbol there is stone. Also known as Ishi. Shaku. Or Shak. Definitely has a lot more animations. So uh, I talked about, I think in the previous video, in the introduction, I mentioned I was going to a website known as Wanakani. Um, so it, Wanakani is only free for the first three levels, it looks like. Um, but for right now, you can actually, there's an option to reset your progress in it. And I went and did that because I was getting a bit overwhelmed at uh, the final parts. Um, you can either do a subscription or you can do a very hefty lump sum that will give you permanent access. Um, I haven't really... I'm not exactly at the point where I want to uh, commit funds to it yet, though. Uh, I'll see how I do once I get very familiar with the um, the first three levels. The um, Supposedly getting the first three levels is, a, is a pretty much enough to get uh, you capable of acing any sort of entry-level um, Japanese exam. So that's still pretty nice for free. I mean, we're looking at... It's like... I don't remember how... I think it's like 80 symbols and then like over 200 words or something like that. Or maybe the other way around. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, it uh, looks like we got uh, uh, Boku, which is tree. And then we have fire, which is he. Or ka. So we'll do he. that and take you out. He. He. Feels like they alternate which word, which pronunciation they go with. So supposedly the rule, um, I mean, there's a, much like English, there's a bunch of exceptions to the rules, but um, what what version, what type of pronunciation you go with depends on whether or not there's hiragana attached to it, um, or, or attached to the word. So if there's hiragana attached, um, it will actually change the 
the pronunciation. So for for example, one is Ichi, but if uh, if you put the uh, the hiragana of of Su or two uh, beside it, it becomes one thing, and that's pronounced as a uh, Hitotsu instead, which means instead of Ichi, you, for one you use Hito instead. Anyway, uh, water. Mizu. Water. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, it looks like they kind of pick a random word uh, pronunciation to go with. All enemies defeated. Looks like we've taken care of all the kanji monsters in, the, in this area. Well done, Shen. It was pretty tough. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. Hmm. Maybe we should regroup with the others before we go further. Eh? Jin, look out. Alright. Oh, it changes. Okay. So that was tree first. Shaku. Kanji slash one damage. Uh, Kane. Kana. Oh, Kana. He. Hey, are you, you two okay? Phew. Yeah, we're okay. Looks like I arrived a little too late to help. Sorry. It's okay. Thanks to Chin here, we managed to defeat that giant kanji monster. So, um, did you guys find out where the city disappeared to? No, there's no sign of it. I guess I have to be the one to point this out. The city doesn't just doesn't exist anymore. We might as well give up give up. Don't you want answers? How could a city just vanish? I don't think the city vanished by itself. Something made the city disappear. Ever since we made that prayer at the shrine, things started to get started getting weird. Maybe that prayer has some, some form of spirit magic. Frederick, what is spirit magic? I read about it in a manga once. I'm not sure if it's real or not. The manga was awesome though. Heaps of battles and epic monsters. Somehow, I don't think that's what we're dealing with here. Yeah, I, I agree with Elliot. Not a chance. No such thing as spirit magic. Fine, fine. What does Hana-sensei think? Hmm. Hana-sensei, are you okay? Yes, sorry for spacing out. I was reflecting on the last monster we fought. It had the ability to change its own form. What if there's more like that uh, out there? Good point. We're done for. Elliot, come, uh, calm down. We're still standing, right? Yeah, for now. Since the city is nowhere to be found, maybe we can uh, return to the shrine and rest up. Okay. Preya's idea is perfect. We'll use the shrine as our base and rest up. Catch your breath now, everyone. We've got a long walk back. Sorry, adjusting my mic. It's been such such a long day. So hungry. Does anyone have any sna snacks? No, sorry. We'll probably starve here. Anyone else? I had these trading cards that came with a pack of gum. The gum is gone, though. Right. Thanks, Frederick. Since we might be here for a while, we should dig around for some food. Yeah. Maybe we could find some local wildlife to help us forage for food. Er, what do you mean? Like, I could try and tame a friendly deer that could help us find edible leaves. Or I could find a cute little fox that can seek out berries for us. Can you really do that? Of course he can. He's just being himself. I'll show you two. Dinner's coming right up. And he's gone. Elliot, can you go after him and make sure he's okay? If I have to. Jen, do you want to help uh, help me out? I'm going to try and catch some fish from that stream over there. 
Sure, no worries. I'll come too. Attaboy, Chippins. Keep gathering those berries. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're such a cute little foxy. What the... That should be enough berries for all of us. Thank you for your help, Chippins. Hmm? Oh, hmm? What's that? You want to travel with me and never leave my side because you love me and you've always wanted to be with me? Aw, oh, you're the sweetest little foxy a, a guy could ever ask for. Of course you can come with me. Frederick, be careful. That's a wild fox. Oh, Elliot. Chippins isn't wild. He's a good boy. He helped me collect all these berries for, for everybody to share. Bizarre. He actually does what you say. Yep, we've only known each other for a short while, but it feels like we've been friends for a lifetime. Oh, and he says he wants to be friends with you too. Elliot, introduce yourself. Do, do I have to? Chippins says yes. Um, well, hello, Chippins. My name is Elliot. Er, I'm very happy to meet you. I think, I th and thank you for helping us find dinner. Wow, Chippins really likes you, Elliot. I can tell we're all going to be best friends. That sounds good, Frederick. How about we head back to the shrine? Okay, come on, Chippins. I'll introduce you to the gang. Chippins is so do uh, so gosh darn cute. I just want to squeeze him. No, Priya, you can't be too rough with him. He's a sensitive soul. I've never heard of a wild fox becoming so fond of a human. Well, as long as Frederic takes care of him, Chippins is more than welcome to join our group. Did you hear that, Chippins? You can learn Japanese with us. You're going to be the smartest foxy of all time. I see that you brought back a, a lot of berries. Thank you for that. No problem. Chippins was happy to help. Pri uh, Priya and I managed to catch some fish before. We found a small stream uh, way over there. Yep, Hana is like totally a master fisherman. She went and made a fishing rod from tree some tree branches. And she dug up worms from the ground for bait. It was so gross. But she did a great job. The fish were biting within minutes. It was kind of fun. Nice job. I'm pretty impressed. That's awesome. So we can have some berries and fish for dinner. Can we cook the fish? Already one step ahead of you. There's fire burning in the lanterns outside the shrine. We can make a campfire to, to cook our, din our dinner with. Yes, Hannah is a genius. Well then, uh, shall we get started? Civilization has been seemingly disappeared. The cities that once dominated Japan's vast landscapes has vanished. Horrific beasts in the shape of kanji are roaming the wilderness. They are vicious and relentless in their attacks. The only structure that remains is the shrine, the place where you made your prayer for good luck. Only a few people are present, and they're all part of your study group. You are all certain of one thing. Without a place to live, you will not last long against the kanji monsters that are out for, for blood. It is time to build a safe haven, a place for security for yourself and your new friends. You will need to gather materials and build what you can. Shelters, facilities, and defenses against the monsters will all be required. Your ultimate goal should be to build a brand new town, a place where humankind can thrive. Are you up to the task? Will you fight back against the darkness? Save the progress? Sure. Am I building a town that's going to become the city in the future? And this, did this just turn into a city management sim? Uh, that was that was an uncomfortable night's rest. No pillows or blankets. I don't know. It wasn't that bad. Beats sleeping at home. Elliot. Is your home life not so good? Um, just forget I said anything. Okay. Hey, I just remembered, Priya. You pinched Chippins uh, for me during the night. Heh <laughs> nope. He chose to cut cuddle with me. Betrayed. Hmm, where's Hana? Did she not sleep here? I'm positive she, she was here when we fell asleep. I'll go look for her. I'm sure she can't be far. Now, where is that teacher of ours? Oh! Ohayo gozaimasu, uh, Chen. Good morning. Good morning, Hana-sensei. What are you up to? I'm scouting the area. Look around. There are a lot of kanji monsters today. It would seem so. By examining the monsters looking around, I have been able to determine which kanji characters we should study next. And we should hop to it, because the monsters look eager to get closer to our little home here. 
Alright, I'll, I'll gather the others. Thanks. Time to study. Welcome to lesson two. Uh, do, 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 do. So, sun. I know the far left one is sun. Um, the far right one? I don't think it's repeater. Uh, I think that the far right one might be evening. And then I think I'm, I'm not. I definitely don't know the the third or fourth one from the from the left. The second one, I think I'm I should know, but I don't remember it unfortunately. In this lesson, we're going to learn five kanji characters pictured above. We'll go through them one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. Day sun he be nichi jitsu written with four strokes. The shape of a uh, sun resembles an open window looking out um, looking at the day outside. He. Yeah, these are pretty he. straightforward. Nichi jitsu. Okay, continue. So um, with with sun, you can actually, um, if you use numbers before it, it'll essentially be the equivalent of uh, uh, pretty much calling it like days of the week almost. Here comes the next kanji. Ski. Ah, so this one's month. Wait, it, is that really moon? So the ver I could have swore that moon actually had like th was made up of th just three rectangles, but I could have maybe misremembering, but it's okay. Shape a uh, month moon. The shape of the left uh, curve in moon resembles a crescent moon. Suki uh, getsu gatsu. Suki. 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 Gets. Gats. Gitsu Gatsu. Or Gats, because it seems like they don't really pronounce the U that uh they pronounce the U rather quickly. Uh so same thing if you have like any of the um kanji symbols for or uh for the numbers in front of this, it'll actually represent the months. So having one, one then then moon represents January. Alright, so let's continue. Comes the next kanji. So this one I don't know. It's made up of. Okay, so this is a year. So there's definitely a theme for this. So Toshi, Nin, or Nen, uh, written with six strokes. The lower shape of year resembles a well. It is also similar to the kanji used for the word well. With this in mind, we, we say visit the well every year. So it's using mnemonics to try to teach you, to help you remember these. So, Toshi, Nin, that is year. Continue. Looks like a person, but that is definitely not person. Haya. Early, fast. Haya, so, so, and sa. Written with six strokes. The shape of early resembles the sun rising in the early mo morning. Okay, continue. So this one's definitely evening. You. You and Seki. Written with uh, six strokes. The shape of evening represents the moon rising in the evening. It is a, a similar image to a month, so try not to confuse them. Or sorry, moon. Okay. 
Congratulations, you completed this lesson. Now you know five more kanji along with their English meanings and their pronunciations. Well done. I'm going to fail the quiz, but we'll see. <laughs> but I should be okay in the combats. Now that the lesson is over, I have a quiz. Uh, I have to quiz you. I do hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. What is the English meaning of year? Yeah, it just means a year, but it's pronounced well or whatever. What is the onyomi sound of evening? Seki. What are the kunyomi Japanese readings of uh, sun? Uh, I believe it's he and b. What is the English meaning of month and moon? What is the kanji, uh, correct kanji for the world, uh, the word early? Correct, well done. What is the kunyomi Japanese reading of moon? Suki? Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on your way to mastering kanji. I am amazed that I got them all correct. Because like I said, I get mixed up with the the, the onyomi and kunyomi um, pronunciations. I hope you all managed to keep up with that lesson. We're going to have a bit of a trail by fire ahead of us. Look outside. The kanji monsters. Hang on a second. There are people, humans, running towards us. Are the kanji monsters chasing them? They're all getting, getting closer to this, the... Sorry, they're all getting closer to the shrine. What do we do? We have to fight, of course. Hana Sensei has given us the knowledge we need. We can take them down. And the people, too. Right, we can do this. If we take out the monsters, we can save those people. I can't say I have your confidence, but I'll do what I can. I'll kill the people and save the kanji. Mina san, Gonbate. Or Gonbat. Everyone, do your best. In this battle, kanji monsters will invade your town. You must drive away a set number of kanji monsters to repel the invasion. Do your best to protect the people that have just arrived at the shrine. They will be very grateful if you save them. Priya, Frederick, and Elliot have joined your party. Access the menu, menu with the escape key, then use the party command to change your team. You can have up to four people in your battle team at a time. Only characters who participate in battle will receive experience points and level up. Now. Now, fight on. Defeat five enemies. Okay. Party. Change. I hate you, Frederick, so we'll take Elliot. To be honest, I would rather re replace him too, because he's annoying too, but that's alright. Uh, I don't believe anyone has any skills. And then equipment, uh, he uses a frisbee. He uses a 5 yen coin. And... Oop. Plastic cutler cutlery. So 15 power, 15 soul. 11 power, 10 soul. 15 power, low everything else. 13, 7, 5. Alright, so Frederick's supposed to be the speed demon. In this battle, you'll, the enemies you fight are made up of English words. You can defeat them using the same principles of normal combat. Your list of answers has changed the kanji characters instead of meanings. Select the matching kanji from your answer list in order to defeat the enemy. Uh, so this is, I guess this is essentially a reverse learning here. When learning things like English, uh, uh, literacy and stuff, you would try to um, learn by writing and reading and stuff like that. And so it's kind of a similar idea here where you can learn based off the symbol and then learn based off the English translation. All right. So we have a bunch of new things. Uh, stone. Of course, we know about stone. Uh, and then it draws the symbol, which is nice. Uh, evening. 
just this symbol. You. What on earth are those monsters? They were chased by those things for so long, I can't believe they haven't given up yet. I I'm scared. Where's mommy? <sighs> I guess this is the end. Stay away. I don't know if it's an actual defense medicine. I think it's just you go around and kill monsters. Alright, uh, so we got day and sun and water. Let's do day sun first. Mizu. The, um, the walls here are kind of shaped in a weird fashion. Can I go up here? Can't go inside while your town is under attack. Okay. Alright, so... Year. Then. And then fire. With that scarf, Elliot looks like a ninja. Whenever he does his victory pose. Alright, big one. Three of them at a time. And I got some attacks off. Alright, uh, evening will... There. So this is a kind of... Uh, this is the first time I've run into something like this where there's multiple of the same symbol. Sick. Water. Sweet. And then evening again. Sick. Looks pretty. I got an attack off this time. Anyway, just gonna try to see if I can find any chest. Early, fast, and evening. Uh, we can go ahead and do evening you. now. We can do fire. Cut. And then early, fast, which is this rising sun symbol. So. Okay. All enemies cleared. Yeah, take that, you big old kanji goofball. Good hit, Frederick. Well, well done. Can't take all the credit. Chippins did most of the work. Great job, Chippins. It looks like we've defeated the majority of them. What now? Well, there should be a boss-type monster up next, right? Isn't that how these things go? You'd probably be right if this was some lame video game, but this is... Aha! Hello, end-of-level end boss. Huh, who knew? Psh. So you're right just this once. Keep your wits about you, everyone. We can t we can take this one down. All right. And once again, it's back to the normal setup. So evening is here. You. Early fast. Haya. Day sun. All right. Fine, you want to go down there? We'll do water then. Water. Month. Moon. Gatsu. Gatsu. Ultra slash. One damage. Seems to be pretty lenient on the damage. Day sun. And then last one's year. And we'll all level up. Level up, boo. And we got a duck feather. And the boss bites the dust. The crowd cheers. Ew. How do you have so much energy after that? I'm running on adrenaline. I'm actually so sleepy. Ha. Huh, I feel you. 
I need a break. Wow, outstanding effort, everyone. Thank you for your help. The town seems to be safe for now. Hmm. We seem to have a few new people here now. I'm glad they survived the monster attack. Thank you so much for saving us. I saw the shrine in the distance and started running for it. I thought this would be a town, but it doesn't look like much. Still, we don't have anywhere else to go. Can we stay here? Wait, where exactly did you come from? We come from the other side of the forest. Our city vanished into thin air. I don't know how many people are still out there. Our group here has been on the run from, from the monsters for quite a while. You can all stay here with us, but we don't have much. We might need to build a few more shelters. That's a good idea, Priya. But in order to build anything, we need to collect materials. Have you noticed that the monsters we've been fighting drop strange orbs when defeated? These orbs have kanji inscribed on them, like wood and stone. If we gather enough of these orbs, I'm sure we can use them to, as materials to build structures. Gather a bunch of orbs and we can start building. Ugh, manual labor? Really? We'll help out too, please. It's the least we can do to repair you. Great. In that case, Chen, I'll leave you in charge of improving this little town. You call the shots, okay? Yep, no problem. I have no experience in construction. From now on, you can make improvements to your sit town as you see fit. To build a new tr uh, structure, talk to a character standing in front of an empty block of land. You'll need to spend kanji orbs in order to build structures. The number and type of orbs required are displayed above the character you speak to. You can also upgrade structures by talking to the character standing in front of a building. Upgrading, uh, upgrading requires kanji orbs, just like building. By building and upgrading structures, you can unlock many new features that will help you overcome your foes. When you have finished exploring your town, talk to Hana to continue with your lessons. Obtain 5 wood orbs from Hana. Try taking these orbs to Priya to build some houses. Chin is here. Maybe you can save me from my boredom. Do you want to build house some houses? Houses will give us a place to sleep and, and recover our strength. House is complete. This is awesome. Now we have some houses for, sh for shelter. Thank you for bringing me the materials. Whenever you're ready to continue your lessons, you should go speak to Hana. Until then, just relax. This is prayer room. You'll need to become better friends before you can enter. Oh, but there's friendships? And I'm guessing this is my room? Wow. So five wood orbs apparently gets you um, a flat screen TV, a tablet, a laptop, clock, lamp, and electricity apparently. And plants. But I guess that makes the most sense. This door is locked. Is there a bathhouse in this town? I could really use a soak. I'm guessing the upgrade will make it into a bathhouse. Which will probably function like the first game. I really... Okay, the blocking volumes are not that bad. Hello. This looks a lot neat nicer than the outside. Oh, you must be the new butler. You can put breakfast on the table when you're ready. Thank you. Where did I put the table? Okay, whatever. This should do with a bit more work. Hey, you there. Do you need to buy any items? I don't have much, but maybe these can help you out until we have a dedicated shop in town. Got it. So they're just the placeholders until we actually build stuff. Uh, the duck feather is a revive item. And candy cures all status effects. And then Ramune heals 50. I think right now I don't have enough to actually craft anything. Yeah, I may not look like much, but I've been through a few battles in my time. If you have any questions about combat, I'm the guy to hit. Hit me with your questions. How do I learn magic? As you level up, you'll begin learning magic spells. Each character can learn different spells depending on their personality. Some characters will learn healing magic, and others will learn handy tricks to, debil to debilitate enemies. If you have any questions about combat, blah 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 blah. No problem, I'm always here if you need advice. What do we have over here? 
I've been studying kanji too. Hmm? No, I haven't been peeping in the classroom window. I learned all my all the kanji by myself. Alright. I have some armor for sale. There's not much. If we had a forge, I could make more. Need anything? Alright, so we got scarves and jackets, and that's about it. And they are usable by everyone, it looks like. Uh, scars increase speed, which are always nice. And then you can talk to him for weapons. I already have a short sword. So, just essentially a one tier upgrade if we wanted to buy anything. I like how the 5 yen co uh, coin is worth 5 yen. That's a nice uh, attention to detail there. It's kind of nice living in nature, though I do miss the miss the creature comforts that come with technology. I'll just go to the end. Apparently I have a computer now. There's something odd about this tree. How could something so large grow here? Alright. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a save here, and uh, we'll continue the next lesson uh, next time. So I am the Depressed Dior, and this was Learn Japanese uh, to Survive Kanji Combat. Sayonara, everyone. <laughs>